All right, folks, so I'm going to show you how to update your motherboard on your Gigabyte UD Z390. And so I've already did the Google search. Um, there's what you got to type. Comes up first thing. Now this says Rev uh, 1.0, which, uh, go figure. I didn't know there was a baseline one. But uh, this is the product. So we want to go to support. And we are going to go to BIOS. And wow, they've actually had that many BIOSes. Um, it's amazing. So they started design this way back. And if you look at the BIOS um, reasons, you might want to update it. Uh, of course, if you had one of these older ones, you know, heck, if your RAM's not working good, um, somewhere in here they would update future night gens so that was actually in March and I haven't really seen any new night gens out there so uh, I think that one we would think has got you covered but then they threw in this guy right here which is a monster um, and some other things that have happened so um, some aspects this is like cumulative they take the best of what came before it and put it in the latest uh, though the file size does not grow which is interesting but uh, you only need to grab the latest one so we're gonna get F10C and I'm gonna save this I'm just gonna save it I think to my desktop hopefully we'll find it back there all right, so somewhere on here is that file. There it is. All right, so I've got to put a thumb drive in. And uh, if this cheap SAMA case will uh, accept it. If the C, yeah, okay, will not recognize it. Well, so I'm going to copy. This thing's just going to keep beeping at us. All right, so hopefully I'll edit all that mess out. Um, if you happen to have a situation where your front USBs are not getting recognized, then uh, it's time to you know plug into the back. So um, we're basically going to copy the file over to the USB, and then I'm going to paste it in there, and there is our uh, BIOS update file. So we're good to go to the next step. All right, so there we have our uh, Gigabyte Z390 UD motherboard. And now we're ready for the next step. We're gonna take our uh, thumb drive and I'm going to plug it in. Hopefully the computer will recognize it. There it is. So. Um, our file is in here, so we have to make sure we unzip it. And as fast as this computer is, I'm amazed it's taking that long. Okay, so we no longer need the uh, zip version in here. So let's go ahead and uh, restart. Now, this is Gigabyte, so uh, should be F2.
If not, we'll redo it again with uh, one of the other keys. Jamming on the F2 key. And you can see there, uh, F12 as well work. And um, so we are in the BIOS. And uh, let me back up a second. So there is the full BIOS, okay? And the only thing we want to go to is down here at the bottom. Q flash. And we're going to click on update BIOS. Okay. Then we have to find the folder that we uh, put the file in, which should be relatively easy. How to update BIOS. There is the file. And then it looks like uh, one more click, folks. Then over here, you're going to hit the double arrows. Okay. Let me back up as I hit it. And we want to do, uh, we don't want to do fast. We want to do intact. So this will take longer. And then here we go. We're off to the races. And I'm going to put it right there so you guys can see how long this takes. Now, actually, while that's going over here, we've got. Uh, uh, there's our updated BIOS, December 18, 2019. There is the current BIOS, okay, 524. So when this is done, we will have the newest BIOS. And obviously this will work in the future for when um, there's an F11, F12 comes out. So it's important at this point, obviously, you do not unplug anything. Don't do this during a lightning storm. Don't do it during high winds, hurricanes, tornadoes, anything that might disrupt your power. And definitely make sure you have a power supply that's powerful enough for your computer. If you have problems with it rebooting, um, then you're not going to be a happy camper. So we're going to jam on F2 again. You know, we so you could click on delete. Um, wow, so completely different uh, BIOS now. That's amazing, folks. So XMP disabled? No. Well, we want it. We want that going. So when you go in your BIOS after update, make sure you uh, re-click on your XMP profile if you have RAM that's higher than 2666. Um, that way you get the higher speed on it. Let's see, there's information about it. And it looks like we need to go to advanced mode. This one does not show you the BIOS in uh, basic mode. Wow, folks, um, system info should be in here. Okay, sorry that took me a while. So model name, BIOS version, BIOS date, that's all there, right? So 1218, 1218 is what we wanted, and this is F10C. So we have got a successful uh, BIOS update. And I'm just going to save and exit, and it should pop up to Windows. And uh, kind of neat to see the uh, the new BIOS because uh, the other one was like, yeah, this doesn't look any different than uh, the Z370s. Um, so, actually, we didn't. No, we did change something. Okay, so we're going to save it. And boom. So, folks, that's going to do it for this. Uh, I'll let you watch it, I guess, boot to Windows just so you'll have a little more confidence that it worked. And uh, let's see if we get there.
and looks like Windows is going to come up. So, um, rather than make you guys sit through this, there it is. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.